Hi, this is Jeff. So Bonnie and I brainstormed that maybe we should make a little video. So what you see on the, my screen right now is one of the reports that we fill out when we go to a cell tower site. This report is actually generated, we call it an offline tool because you don't need to have internet to fill out the report. You have to have internet to bring it up, but you get the feel. You just fill it in as you go. Down here, this would be chemical information of what we put on the site. Then down here are just the wind and the start time. And the, these are the conditions and the timing of when it all happened. And then these are things that we observe while we're at the site. And then here we would say, what, what other observations did I see? And then down here are things that somebody else needs to do. Uh, and then anything that we did that we fixed, let's say that we did some expanded maintenance because the field tech asked you to do something, you check that and then you would describe it down here in the box. And then we'll attach photos down here, so we'll populate into the report. Um, we're going to go to a spreadsheet that we actually use to fill out the report. We call it our coverage calculator, and it has the same information, the date, the company we were working for, the state you were in, the site number, any combination you needed to get into the site, what time did you start, what time did you end. So it's just a spreadsheet that we fill out as we go. And you can you just tab your way along and fill all this information in. And then you fill your report out from that. The goal of this is to just have you understand that you need to be able to operate a spreadsheet. That way you don't have to gather all this every time. You know what the last guy was there doing. You know what weeds were around. And you know what size the compound is. So this will just give you an idea of what we carry around with us. We've changed the configuration. We don't do it exactly like this anymore. But the basics are still the same. This is showing an F-150. We're not using F-150s. They don't quite handle the workload that we have. And when you see what I've got on the truck, you'll know why. So inside the back of the cab, we're carrying our chainsaw, our blower, a hedge trimmer, locks, chain, your clothes, uh, some hand tools. The minimum size of a bed is six and four, or you cannot get everything in. Your weed eater is that long. So you need a minimum of this, and all of the 250s and 350s are about 6 foot 10. We're going to carry about 2,200, 2,400 pounds of products and tools with us, and these are only rated at 1,800 pounds. So you're looking at 600 pounds overweight for a, for a 1,500 or an F-150. We have a rack for carrying garbage back back we're picking up trash and leaves and pine needles and we got to dispose of that so we've got a rack that we just put one of these tailgate racks on and, and we can carry that around from site to site until we have a place to offload so here's a bin that we have our bags of granule in so they don't get punctured and spread chemistry all across your truck they're, they're carried in an aluminum bin there's a 40 gallon tank for water here a 16 gallon tank uh, where we mix our chemistry in there and that's the one we spray from. Uh, a couple of granule spreaders, a hose reel, a mower. Um, you see the weed eater here, but underneath the weed eater, there are jugs of liquid chemistry. And then these two beanie hats are actually pump up sprayers, hand sprayers that we use to do spot treating of specialty products when our main mix that's in here won't kill what we see. Uh, so there may be cactus, for example. You're gonna to have to put a special chemical in to do that, but you don't need to spray the whole compound with it. You just mix a little bit. So you've got to have a tonneau cover that will cover all of this stuff because there's a lot of expense in here and you don't want somebody to walk away with it. The rest of it gets locked in your truck, all of that. You're carrying some gas cans for all of these tools that you're running. This is the grant bin that holds granule that you're working out of, so you're not having to climb in and out of your truck all the time. But it's all very accessible from the sides and from the back. There's a spreadsheet here. This is a checklist of everything I take when I go out on towers. And I send this to anybody that's starting up. You can see that the the major expenses are here on all of the hand, on all of the power tools. We've got one there and then these.